and welcome to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, I am Rochelle, the DIY affiliate, and I help people like you build a greater online presence. I have put together a new membership site, which is actually a membership community for all of my loyal subscribers. In this video, I will show you how to use this membership site and how it can help you to be able to grow your online presence, which is something that is very important in order to be successful on your order to help people to grow their online presence. I am really excited to be able to present this to you. So I hope that it will be helpful and I hope you enjoy it. And do not forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell because that is very important to the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you leave me a comment, I will go and I will check out your channel. I will find a video that I like, subscribe to your channel to help you to grow as well. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Go to the menu at Interactive Views website. Subscription Exchange Program Members. Register here. Registering for this site is easy. Just fill in this, the fields. So here you would put your username. And then you would decide on what your username is. Your email address. Choose your password, confirm your, and your best video featured, to be featured in the DIY Does Sub for Sub Work playlist. Sign up. You will need to activate your account via the email we have just sent you. So then now you go to your email. To the account that you, you will see DIY affiliate. Community member site, activate your account. And then activate your account. You will then see, please provide a valid activation key. Here's your activation key there. And then you click activate. Your account is now active. Then you now click log in. Log in with the username and the password that you used to create your account. This is your dashboard. You will see your profile photo here up on the right. You will also notice these three lines. 
you will then be able to create a post, add new, add your title, whatever you want to, to make your post about. Maybe introducing yourself as a new member. Use the Gutenberg blocks. Find what you are looking for. And my suggestion is to find a video. Pick the video from your channel that you would like to see people liking and subscribing to your channel for. Let's write a little caption. When you are done creating your post, and you can use other Gutenberg blocks, I have enabled this here for you to be able to use to create your post. You have common blocks here. These are the common building blocks for video, paragraph, image, if you wanted to put another heading a gallery, you can also add tags, which are your meta tags. Now here you will notice this is your Google translation. So what happens here is you can go to Google translation and you can see this word publish it's in English. I want to make it, say I want to make it in Arabic. So there it is right there. This is English. This is Arabic. And then you would just copy this using the copy and then put it back into where you want it to go. So that is how to use the translation. The, these two boxes here, click in there and then your language to another language. So once that is done, English, this is Arabic and then you would just copy this using the copy and then put it back into where you want it to go. So that is how to use the translation. The, these two boxes here, click in there, and then your language to another language. So once that is done, you can then go to edit. Go back to the menu. 
go to join this Facebook group. Click into join Facebook group. You will find this video right there where it says watch video. It's not there yet. Like the page and then once you like the page you will then be you will find this video right there where it says watch video it's not there yet like the page and then once you like the page you will then be invited to join this Facebook group. Support new serious YouTubers for free. And once you become a member of this page, then you will be able to post your channel for other people to go to your channel and to like and subscribe to your channel and send you a screenshot. Screenshot. Back to the menu. Go to the groups. You will see different groups that have been created by either myself or other people and you can join back to the menu go to the groups You will see different groups that have been created by either myself or other people and you can join any group. You can also create a group of your own and you give it a group name create the group and continue Now this is all being done on your cell phone. So you have to decide whether this is going to be a public group, a private group, or a hidden group. So this is a public group. Which members of this group are allowed to invite others? All group members and then click next step do you want your group to have a forum and a forum is a place where people go and they can write you in they can give you information, they can leave comments, and they can reply to any questions that are asked. So, uh, yes, next step. Next step is 
a photo so you can upload what you call a group avatar It'll say the group profile photo was uploaded successfully. Go to the next step. <coughs> now here's where you can select a cover image. if you have any friends and then finish that okay so this is what the support group that I just created looks like go back to the menu go to the members And you will see the different members here. And these are mostly me because I am just creating the site. And here you can add friends by clicking in add friends, add friend. Then they will then get a friend request, add friend. back to the menu now when you go to my profile you will then be able to see your own profile here When you go to profile, you will see the Buddy Press profile. And here you can again put your picture in that you would like. Put your picture in that you would like. Go to settings. And then it gives you some more information here. Profile visibility. Select who will see your profile, your name, your YouTube channel, your best video, and your channel description. Here is your online presence in which you can fill in as part of your profile. Settings, general. Go to your profile again, thing that you and post an update. People will be able to see your activity. You can see that I just wrote that and also can use translate. Click into translate. Oops and I want to translate that to from English to Chinese 
Okay, so this is my Chinese. Have a wonderful day. And I'm going to copy that. Go back into as well. For people who are Chinese, you can do it for people who are Hindi. Say you wanted to translate into Hindi. You could just go here and then from the English choose the Hindi and then copy it go back put a comment in and post so do you see how you can use and read different languages this is one of the most important parts of this membership site is people being able to communicate with each other you can also send messages you can create messages and send messages to people who are on the site and there is no messages found however you can create messages click compose and then at a username your message and then send you will then be able to send this message to another member so I hope this has been helpful to you always remember that this menu right up here has everything that you need in here where to join the Facebook group if you need to register logging in logging out your account we click in ultimate member profile menu here you can see you can have a profile picture you can also have a cover picture a place where you can make your posts and also the comments that you leave your first name, your nickname, a little biography, and your YouTube channel. If you click into the gear here, you can here you can change your information. You can change your profile picture you can change your cover picture you also have your first name your nickname your biography which you can change a little bit of your channel description and your an opportunity to be able to list your social media sites that you are on Now my suggestion for being able to list your social media sites is to have them all in one place. So this is what I do. I have all my links in one place in my my drive in my Google Docs this way when you need to fill your forms out you can just take your links and fill your forms with the links that you have quicker than finding all your social media sites all the time once you have all your information filled in click here
in order to save your information So this is a short recap of everything that is in this video. When you arrive here at the DIY Affiliate Community member site, you would then go here to the menu. You will see this screen. You will put your username and your password and then log in. This will take you to your dashboard. Here, you can create a post. You can have a look at your comment. If you click into your the avatar here up on the right, you can look at your activity. You can look at your profile. You can look at any notifications that you have, messages, friends, groups, forums, and other settings. Here is your Google Translate, these two boxes right here. You can also create a post by clicking on this plus sign and you will see post and you will see buddy form. I will be doing a tutorial on buddy forms, but here is basically the post. If you go back and you go to visit site, then you will go, this is the back end of the, the membership site. This is the front end. Here you will see your profile for your ultimate member. If you go to this menu right there, you will have all of the different options. The first thing you should do is join the Facebook group so that I will be able to get all of your information and help you as much as possible. You can see your account information. You can see the forums. You can see the groups the members who are on the site and who are members of the site. This profile is for your buddy press. Now the buddy press and the ultimate member are two different profiles. This is the buddy press. This will give you your groups, your forums, your activity, notification, messages, friends, home and settings. You can also edit this information. You can check out the privacy policy or you can go to my profile, which is your ultimate member profile, and you have access to both of these profiles. This is the ultimate member profile. When it is complete, you will see the cover photo. You will see the profile photo. You will see your username. You will see different social media sites where you can be found. Plus you will have all your information that people can go and find you online. You can also check your activity. And also a short recap on putting all of your social media links all in one place, preferably in your Google Docs so that you have everything all in one place and easy to get to if you need to fill out forms. Now, for the people who are building a membership site,
please check out these videos that I have made on how to create your WordPress, set it up properly in the settings for a membership site, how to install the ultimate membership plugin and to set it up properly, choosing the right theme. And I am using the SquarePress theme and also starting to customize the theme. I have more videos coming out on customizing the theme and setting up your WordPress so that you can run it as a membership site. It will look exactly as the membership site that I have presented to you. So I hope this has all been helpful to you. And this is the DIY Affiliate saying have yourself a wonderful evening and looking forward to hanging out with you soon.